Good morning all. Well, uh, myself Ansu from Let's Update Language Academy. And Glory from Let's Update Language Academy. Okay, we are here with another uh, role play card and regarding the hospital discharge following emphysema treatment. So myself uh, will be playing as a nurse. And I will be the patient. Okay, so let's begin. Good morning, Ms. Sarah. My name is Ansu. I will be a returning nurse today. Well, uh, I am glad that you are going to be discharged soon. So I am here to discuss you more about the discharge process. Is that okay with you? Yes, miss, of course. Okay. So uh, before that, I would like to know how are you feeling about the discharge? Oh, well, nurse, actually, I feel much better and really excited mm -hmm. and I can't wait to get back to my home. Oh, that's really great, Miss Sarah. Well, let me give some of the information regarding the discharge process. So, may I proceed with that? Yes, please. Okay. So, uh, you know, the final check will be done by the medical team, which will be involving doctor, nurses, and uh, everyone uh, who taken care of you. And you know, the letter will be given. The discharge letter will be given from the doctor, which involves all the medication information the treatment that you had in the hospital and uh, finally the uh, you know pharmacist will be giving you the discharge medication during uh, when you are going to be discharged so how does that sound oh that sounds really good okay now sarah well i would like to know about your understanding regarding uh, the dosage and frequency so you have any idea regarding the medication that you need to take following the discharge well, yes, yes, actually, I know what are the medication that I have to be taken, mm -hmm. but I'm a bit afraid that uh, um, about being uh, remember to take it. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that, but don't worry, you know, being in an elderly age, it's quite common for people to have forgetfulness. But let me give some information or uh, some strategies that you can follow. Uh, to manage your current uh, problem so you can make use of a tablet organizer which will be really beneficial you know that involving small small box and you can make use of that box by putting the medication so that you won't missing any of the dose and uh, if you are not uh, feeling better with that you can uh, get a reminder on your phone that will be really beneficial and uh, Moreover, your family members, like uh, you can get help from your mother or father of any of your friends. So they'll be, uh, you know, uh, definitely going to help you. So are you uh, okay with that? Uh, yes, miss, definitely. Okay. So, uh, Miss Sarah, can you tell me if you have any, uh, do you need any further clarification? Oh, uh, well, nurse, yes, actually, I just want to know one more thing. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I take some additional painkillers like a paracetamol or acetaminophen if it is really necessary along with my current tablets? Okay, that's a genuine concern, Miss Sarah, but I'm so sorry that I'm not the authorized person to tell you more about the medication. So, I highly remind you or to speak with your doctor on duty about your pain relief medications. Is it okay with you? Uh, yes. Okay. In addition to that, I highly remind you that in case if your symptoms are worsening following discharge, you can seek a medical attention or you can just come back to the hospital and do a checkup with your GP. So, are you able to do that? Oh, that sounds really good to consider mm -hmm. the GP in case of emergency. But I'm a bit worried that uh, I have taken the treatment here in this hospital. So I'm really afraid that the GP won't be uh, able to understand what, what are the treatment I had. Okay, Miss Sarah, that's a genuine concern from your side. If I were you, I would have the same concern. But let me reassure you that all the information regarding your hospitalization, the treatment and the medication which you are uh, uh, done from the hospital will be informed to your current GP. So nothing to be overly alarmed about it. Okay? Okay. Alright. So do you need any further clarification, Miss Sarah? So far everything is clear, nurse. Thank you so much and I feel more assured. Oh, that's really great to hear that. So in case if you need any further uh, clarification or any queries, please do not hesitate to contact me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your valuable time and understanding. Thank you, sir. So this is the end of the role play card. Well, and so it was really a good presentation and uh, you have performed very well, covered all the bullet points. Uh, well, I think uh, it could be better if you uh, add some more empathetic expressions towards the patient mm -hmm. so that we provide a genuine feelings uh, when you present. Okay, so um, overall it was really good and wish you good luck. Well, I hope that this role play card presentation will help you to prepare for your OET speaking session. So I wish you a good luck. Thank you. Thank you.